All right, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to embed a third-party lead form into your landing page. This is, uh, you use this in the case that maybe you have an AWeber account, Constant Contact account, Salesforce.com account, and you want the leads to instantly go into those accounts, and you want to bypass the lead mechanism in the Add to Action platform. It's pretty simple. You go into this area called Generate Leads. Go ahead and name your campaign. In this case, I'll do Test on this one. Uh, the first thing it's going to open up is the option to select the template. And for this demo, um, I'm going to recommend, there's different types of templates in here, but I'm going to recommend we use one that's set up kind of like a sales letter. And the, and the reason for that is oftentimes on these third-party sites when they provide you a form, you, you don't have... you some of them you don't have as much control over the width and height of the form so you want you want a page that it's going to work real good in so any of these here where that where the form is actually at the bottom of the page um, will be a really good candidate for a template I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, I think I'll use this one here I'll hit save and continue the next step is the most important part of this in order to remove the add to action form and replace it with the constant contact aweb or salesforce.com form you're going to need to deselect all these options here and by deselecting them it's going to automatically remove the form from your add to action landing page so as an example here I'm going to hit save and continue and I'll preview this and you're going to see that there's absolutely no sign of a form on this page let me hit preview it'll open up the template and there's no form there now what we're going to do next is we're going to jump right into the content area. And what I did is in this example, I'm actually going to be using a, uh, a form from Salesforce.com. This should work the same way with AWeber or any of these other ones. They, I actually went into Salesforce.com and generated what's called a lead, a web to lead form. And uh, it's basically just a set of script code here and it usually starts with with what's called a with what's called form here you'll see it starts with a form and ends with a form and so uh, with that being said you can kind of see where this is ending with form and it's and it's actually beginning right here with the form so this is the uh, this is the code you're gonna wanna grab and just copy that and they should deliver that code to you just like that when you create your form with any one of these services they'll actually provide you the actual code um, what you're going to do is click anywhere where you want that form to uh, appear and in this case I want it right underneath this text here I'm going to double click in the area I'm going to click the source tab I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where I want my form to appear and I'm just going to paste in that form code see that there I'm going to hit update and close and that just put my salesforce.com form in and you can see how nice that is and in salesforce.com it, it you can actually specify where you want the page to redirect so if you want to redirect it to your thank you page you're going to need to go into salesforce.com and actually specify the link to your thank you page or whatever page you want to send them to but that is how easy it is to get the form into the landing page not a big deal uh, with AWeber or these other ones. Uh, the important thing is that you, if you're copying, pasting code, try not to put it in Microsoft Word. Always use like a notepad or something that's not going to add additional formatting to the page. Uh, regardless of what tools you use online, web-related, anytime you start taking it into Microsoft Word, you, you start uh, running into issues. So keeping it clean of formatting is always nice. So that is uh, how the page looks, and that's completely integrated with a, a form right from Salesforce.com. If I were to fill out that form and hit Submit, that lead automatically just went into Salesforce.com. So I hope this has been helpful, and if you have any questions, again, just let us know. Appreciate it.